Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a whip and chat. I know I said maybe I do flirty Friday if I got this one complete, but as you can see, I'm not complete. I got this much left to do, which doesn't seem like a lot, but when you're working on it, it feels like a lot. So we're gonna get working on this and get to chatting and um, see where I get on this whip and chat. Today I'm using my Bell Art and Nicole rose gold tray my favorite tray so far um and then i'm using my pen from a pen from diamond pen pals and i got this from a subscriber roberta and i really 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 love it and i can't talk today Ugh. tongue tied i'm really liking this pen it's nice and thick Nice and thick, that's the way I like it. <laughs> okay, let's get into this weapon chat. I'm going to get the J's and we're gonna start. I have the window open, so if you hear traffic, I'm sorry, but there's not very much traffic behind my house, but you might hear some of it, they are up getting ready to go to work so hopefully you don't hear them in the background it's super quiet out there because I think Luna is still sleeping so that is always a good thing right so um where should I start okay I'll start with we bought a 3d printer Clem's brilliant idea <laughs> Thinking, oh, let's make some money. Let's open up a shop and let's start selling stuff. And then I'm like, okay. <laughs> See how enthused I am about this idea? Because honestly, you know, I'm not very tech savvy. So, anyways, we brought it home. He got the darn thing put together. And he was frustrating me while I was putting it together because I put on a video because, you know, everything's on YouTube. So there is a video of our printer and someone assembling it. And um, he was like, I'm like, just watch the video. And then he's like, oh, I can't get these screws in. I'm going to have to take the part apart and put the, and I'm like, the guy did not take any parts apart. And I'm like, just watch. And like, I put on the part, I said, you stick it through the little holies and then the wrench or the Allen key goes all the way through. You'd have to be here to understand what I'm talking about. But he's like, ooh. After I took the darn piece apart, I'm like, I hope you're putting it back together again because you know, this is an expensive printer and you're <laughs> just like demolishing it. But anyway, he got it together but it does not lift up easily like the guy on the TV does. And I'm like, and I said to Clem, like, why isn't it like doing that? And he's like, I don't know, it's going down fine. But anyways, I don't know, it is what it is. And then he couldn't figure out, um, he tried to put in like, you know, a test, a test thing. He didn't do it right, but then um, I started uh, playing around with software to design something and I tell you I gotta take a lot more crash courses on that design um, app because or software because like it's super hard for me like some of it's not hard but some of it is like you don't even understand how hard it is to design something so um 
I'm sure it'll take hours and hours. But I don't know. Like, I can design a basic tray. But I can't figure out these little lines. And then my daughter said, well, do it this way. And then I thought, oh, okay, but I haven't gone back to play with it again. Um, so I don't know. I'd probably uh, save it to the file and then put it like you have to save it from there and put it and change it to some kind of file and put it it's like a lot of steps and uh, I'm sure once you get the hang of it and once you start learning it it will fast but for me right now we haven't printed anything so we got he at least got the file to work onto the printer which was good but then when it started printing, it was going, uh, first I thought, oh, it's because you don't have it leveled enough. So he fixed the level. But then I thought, no, you got the temperatures all wrong. So now we got to figure out how hot the temperature has to be in order to it to produce something it wasn't produced in nothing I'm like and he was just pulling the filament right off of the plate I'm like no the guy said that you have to wait till it cools off for it to pop off and you're just like taking it off with ease there's no way this stuff is hot enough so we figured out that so so far we have not made anything yet <laughs> So when we do, I will show you what we finally got accomplished whenever that may be. So, um, next. Do I have to talk about, oh. I said I had a story to tell you about what happened this week just crazy so I used to have this friend like from a long time ago and uh, he showed up on my doorstep a few a few months ago there goes my sorry I got a message uh, he showed up at my door a few months ago and then and I'm like what is this all about so you know it's about he wants to borrow flipping money. So anyways, well, first he wanted somewhere to stay and um, Clem was not very keen on that idea. So I said, well, um, can't stay here. Um, he's like, well, can I have some gas money? And I'm like, okay, whatever. So I gave him, that time I gave him like 20 bucks for gas. No problem. And then um, he shows up here after a few weeks after that and is like bugging me for $50. And I'm like, oh, now I see what this is starting to be. This is starting to be where this is forking out some money for you all the time. You know, it's like, I work hard for my money. You go get a job and you work hard for your money. Like, you haven't had a job in years. You've been living off the system. You know what I mean? So I'm like, he's like, I, I can't say no. And people like just talk and talk and talk. And they don't, they don't take no for an answer that till I finally give in. And that's usually what it's like. And I hate that because I don't want to give in. So then, that was fine, whatever. I gave him the money, whatever. And then, he comes by again. Oh, I have the money, but can you, can you uh, drive a U-Haul for me to get my stuff from, my, from the place I was staying, you know, just in and out to get my stuff and uh, so I could store it at my aunt's house, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I didn't really want to do it because I don't like driving those big trucks. Well, then it ended up 
that Clem ended up driving it for me because I didn't want to drive it and he was getting mad and it wasted all of our Saturday playing around this bull crap. Because when he got there, he totally lied. The guy did not want him to come and get his stuff. So the cops had to get called, blah, 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 this and that. And I'm like, oh my gosh. And like, I told them that day, I'm like, listen, this is the last time I'm helping you. You know, he said he had a place coming in, in town. And then I never heard from him for like, oh, I don't know, it's been a month or two or more, I can't even remember, maybe a month now. So I haven't heard from him. So then, I guess on, what day did I work, Thursday? No, Tuesday, Tuesday, because this is Thursday. You guys will get this on Friday. So Tuesday, I guess after I left, he shows up at my doorstep at 6 o'clock in the morning. And Sarah's like, uh, my mom's not here. She went to work. And he's like, oh, I just wanted to borrow 60 bucks from her um, for something about a storage unit. And I'm thinking, well, why would you need a storage unit anyways when you had your stuff at your aunt's? But whatever. Like, I don't even, like, I'm not even, like, caring of what he's saying. And then, uh, like, half of the stories that come out of his mouth, like, I'm starting to call some of them bullshit. But anyway, um, I think he has a drug problem. That's what I think it is. And then, uh, he sat on my porch, I guess Sarah said, and he wouldn't leave. And she's like, listen, my mom ain't gonna come home till 6.30, right? And he must have left, and then she told Alyssa, you know, lock the door because this guy is pretty, pretty wonky here. So, um, she did, and then I guess he came back later on in the day. She's like, I told you, my mom won't be home till after 6.30. And then I guess he was sitting on the porch again, and then he disappeared, and then... I guess Dylan's like, oh, I'm going to go see what he's at, like, where he went. So he happened to go out to the garage, and there he is in my garage, trying to steal. I got interrupted by my loud roommates as Lena calls them <laughs> my roommates, but he was being loud. So I paused for a minute. Um... So Dylan went out there to check to the garage and there he is trying to steal Dylan's TV out there because Dylan has a TV out there because when his friends come over they go out and play video games or do whatever out there. I don't know what they do out there because I don't know <laughs> what they do. Drink, um, play video games I guess. I don't know what they do. So. He, and then Dylan's like, what are you doing? And he's like, oh, I'm taking the TV that your mom let me store in here. Or that Liz let me store in here. And he's like, um, she never let you store nothing in here. There's no TV here of yours. That's my TV. And then he was like trying to like, uh, and then Dylan's like, get off this property. Don't come back. So then I was all worried he was going to come back again, but... He hasn't showed up, so maybe Dale and scared him off. Because that was not his TV. He did not store anything in my garage. Um, he stored everything in his aunt's garage. Nothing got brought over here is stored in my garage. So he's full of crap as far as that goes. And I'm thinking he wanted to steal it to pawn it. Or something, but I don't know how he thought he was going to walk around with this big, huge television, but whatever. <laughs> like, it seems to amaze me what people do that are... I don't even know if he's homeless. I don't even know what's going on with him, but I don't really want to know. Because it's just trouble. Trouble follows him, and I don't want any part of it. And uh, I don't want any part of the people he hangs out with. Or, like, I think they're dirty dirt balls of t 
the town and I don't want any part of any of it and like he's from my past when his life was a lot more not really well he was a little bit messed up back then too but not as bad as he is now and yeah so needless to say yesterday <laughs> I'm sitting here watching Lena and I locked all the doors because I don't want him to come and I'm not answering the door if he comes to the door because he'll try to swing some money out of me again, which I don't really have to give him, but, you know. And uh, he's never paid me back for the other times, so, like, I'm not, like, the bank. I'm not the ATM machine. And uh, he kind of reminds me, I used to have another friend that used to do that to me all the time. It never paid me back. But anyway, that's a whole other story. You know, I have, I've been taken advantage of a lot in my life. I'm not going to, to lie. So, what was I saying about him? I don't even remember now. I got off topic again as per usual so the, oh yeah so I had all the doors locked and someone knocked on the door and I'm thinking what the hell I'm not answering it so then my sister calls me it's like Bill wants to walk Sadie now Sadie's Sarah and Dylan's dog she's a beautiful dog she's like border collie shepherd she kind of looks like Luna, Rachel Ray's dog, but fatter. <laughs> and like, she's black and white. So like, I don't know, Border Collie Shepherd, I don't even know. I think she's mixed. My daughter bought her from like a puppy mill, I think. Amish people, you know, they, they're, they're famous for breeding dogs. So that I don't know what they do with them. I just vaped on my on my weapon chat and I never do that. I usually pause. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> uh, I guess I felt like I needed a vape. So um anyway, she's a beautiful dog, so I'm like, well, tell him to call me before he comes so I know he's here because I'm scared of, I don't want to unlock the door or answer the door to anybody that knocks on it. And I thought it was my sister at first. I'm like, did you come over here? She's like, no, you said Lena's sick, so I didn't want to come over. My sister's like very paranoia about <laughs> COVID. Like you don't even understand. Like she works in a nursing home, so she's always wearing her mask around everybody. And I don't know if she'll, I don't think she'll well, stop doing that. I don't know what she's gonna do, but anyway. Because masks are not mandated after March 1st, but in her facility it still will be because it's a they won't be left until April, they said. So, anyway, um, this mask is, I'm hoping they're done because it's starting to give me, like, wearing these masks for two years. Now I'm starting to develop a rash on my face from them. And, um, I'm not liking it at all. So, yeah. I'll be super happy when I don't have to wear it anymore. Because my work said once the government lifts it, they will be lifting it as well. So I'm super happy about that. Because uh, I'm tired of wearing them. You will not even believe how tired I am of wearing them. So anyway. That is pretty much the gist of it. Oh, and then when I, he came over, I see, see how I jumped from one thing to another? I jumped, jump, jump, jump all over the place. I don't even know why you guys listen to me. Like, seriously. I'm like, Ooh, let's talk about this. So, when he came over, when I opened the door, I realized it was a package <laughs> being delivered because I bought um, Clem a hat. That's another story, too. <laughs> I'll tell you that story too. I bought him a hat for his birthday because I owe him one. Um, how did you say that I owe him one? <laughs> okay, we went to the mall 
in London, London, Ontario, and he had an appointment with Lens Crafter, and it was taking like forever. Like he had an eye appointment next door, and then he was gonna go pick up glasses at Lens Crafter. And I was sitting in the mall on like this bench, but there's this old homeless dude sleeping on the other side. And uh, he gives me his hat and says, hold on to my hat. So I kind of like tucked it underneath my armpit, not thinking. <laughs> so, and then I ended, decided I wanted to move further away from the homeless guy. And I must have, when I got up, the hat must have dropped on his side of the bench because the back of the bench was pretty low. And I didn't think anything of it, and I um, was there, blah, blah, blah. And then some security lady comes up to him and says, says his name, so obviously he's a regular. Yeah. Sorry, I got really interrupted by Sarah asking me to babysit Luna again. That's why I started filming this video right now, because I knew this was gonna happen, and uh, I uh, told her if they don't have any work for you, try to get out of going, coming home early or leaving right away or something because I really don't want to watch her today if I don't have to. I just feel so tired after I watch her all day. She's a handful, always getting into mischief. That one is, but anyway, I, uh, hopefully, I don't even remember what I was saying before she really interrupted me. Oh, and I really don't want to go back and find out what I was talking about. I don't remember what I was talking about. It obviously wasn't important because <laughs> I forgot what it was that I was saying. So this Love in the Year is almost done. I really, really enjoyed working on this piece, even though it's taken me forever, but I haven't really been diamond painting when I watch Luna um, because she gets into all my diamond painting stuff, so. I have a very hard time diamond painting with her. Sometimes I can get away with it. There goes Sadie outside, barking. Yeah, because she thinks she's all that out there. She's probably barking at literally nothing, honestly. So, uh, glad she's outside. At least I know she went outside for a PP, a PP wee pee. She had a really nice walk with Dan, not Dan, what the heck, Bill, Bill Nye, the science guy. No, honestly, that's not who my sister's dating, but she is dating a Bill. <laughs> a Bill, a Bill. Mm. Helen will probably be calling around 8 o'clock. That's usually her timestamp. Sometimes she doesn't call and I think, oh, maybe she thinks I'm at work. Oh, peaceful, and then she'll call. Oh, I waited all day to see if he'd actually call to see if I'm alive. I'm like, really, Helen? I was just hoping you thought I was at work. <laughs> The love we have. Oh, there's the train. Choo choo, all aboard the Lizzie Express. Ticket to the unknown. Apparently, there's more drama going on in the community, and I'm out of the loop because I have no idea what it's about. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's for the best because I really don't know what it's about. <laughs> Maybe I'll get a video next week saying how much I'm mad about whatever happened. I don't know, because I don't really know what it's about. I'm like, 
what possibly could have happened? I had a live yesterday. It was a pretty good live. It was pretty funny. And now there's drama. I don't know. I don't know what the drama's about. It ain't about my train. So, where destination would we like to go today on my train? Lizzie's Express. We're gonna miss it. It's going by. I think we're gonna miss the train ride. It's going by. See how loud. I have to live with this every single day. Every single day. They go by so many times a day here. I, I, I honestly think maybe every hour. I don't know. It's a flipping a lot. But I only really notice it when I'm filming for you guys. I don't really notice it any other time. I think I just block it out of my mind when... Or maybe I have the TV on and I just don't notice it. But my house does shake when the train goes by. And I don't even live like right behind it. It's literally... Uh, there's a street behind me and then there's the tracks. So it kind of goes like behind past the water tower. I'm starting to give you guys too many details of where I live. I live by the water tower. So if you can figure that out, you're a genius. <laughs> uh, I live by the water tower. My, my grandpa used to tell me that there was a man. Oh, that's another story. <laughs> my grandpa used to tell me that there was a man living on top of the water tower. And like, when you're young, you believe this foolish stuff that your grandpa tells you. Because <laughs> my grandpa used to live next door when he was alive. And my grandma with my aunt. She's now passed away. It's been now sold to another Portuguese guy. A younger man that likes to cause drama on the street but anyways that's a whole other story anyway <laughs> she he used to tell me that so when Tyler and Sarah were young I used to tell them a man lives up on the on top of the water tower and he just sits up there and watches TV and Tyler's like, no, mom, you're lying. And I'm like, no, I'm telling you, it's true. There's a man that lives up on the, up on the top of the water tower. Why would I lie? My grandpa told me so. <laughs> and, uh, so one year, this is when we had our pool. I do miss having my pool. And, uh. We're outside enjoying the summer in the pool and that year they decided to paint the water tower and fix it and there was men up on top of the water tower and I yell in Tyler look I told you a man lives up on the on top of the water tower and he's like mom they're fixing it I'm not silly because he's just like already a teenager at this point <laughs> And I'm like, oh, I thought it was pretty funny. I thought it was pretty funny. Uh, it used to be like a greenish color, like almost like a tealish green. I don't know. It was green. Then they decided to paint it white and blue. I'm not sure what's up with that, why they decided to color it that. But that's what they did. And, um... Obviously, the antenna on top of the wire tower is probably so that planes see it. I don't know, but my grandpa said it was someone up there watching TV. There's a man that lives on top of the wire tower, and I kind of believed it because I'm a naive like that, and I believe my grandpa. He was silly. 
Hello, my grandpa. I miss him a lot. I don't. I don't have very many fond memories. Like I have some memories of him, but he passed away when I was in grade one. So it's not like I have too many memories of him. But I do remember, and I was his favorite. I do remember that I was his favorite. I used to sit on his lap and watch TV for like hours. And his favorite show used to be Sanford and Son. So I remember that. He was my dad's father. He was a good man. And I loved him dearly. And, uh, and then my grandma passed away when she was, when I was in grade three or four, I think. She ended up losing her eyesight or half of her vision. I don't even understand, but she lost some of her vision. She used to always complain that uh, I never go see her anymore after my grandpa died. Um, but the whole reason was my grandmother was mean. That I do remember. But maybe that's why I love my grandpa so much. It's like, why do you put up with this lady? <laughs> she was, she was so mean. I remember. I don't even want to tell you the story because it might make you guys sick. I don't know if you guys are eating something right now. But, uh, she would force feed you something and if you um, spat it out or spit it out or whatever she would still make you eat it she was she was mean she was mean like that but she was a good cook she used to make the best bean soup Portuguese bean soup I ever did taste I don't know what she did to it. And I used to always say to my mom, my mom used to get mad. I'm like, ah, eh, not as good as Vovol's um, bean soup. She made the best bean soup. And uh, my mom used to make really good um, roasted beans. Of course, these people like to eat beans, okay? And uh my sister Helen makes them sometimes, and oh my gosh, I tell you, I love them. I love them so much. I can eat a whole bowl full. And Alyssa loves them too. So I have to fight Alyssa for them. Nobody else in the house likes them but me and Alyssa. And I gotta fight Alyssa for them. They are yum me. I'm not even gonna do checkerboard because you know what? I'm about ready done with this painting. And I don't even care. I don't even care anymore. I just want to get it done, done like dinner. So yeah, so that's basically, I don't know what, <laughs> my week in a nutshell, I guess. I'm drinking some cold ass coffee. What else was I going to say? So, hopefully next week you'll see a post review on this sucker. And... What else was I going to say? Hopefully, Sarah contacts this girl on the weekend to see about a new babysitter. Because I'm about... I'm about ready to, like, lose my shit. So hopefully she finds a new babysitter. And, uh...
I can get back on track with my videos. Because not having the time to film when everybody's home sucks. Big time. And the only reason why I put the music on during my live is because I got loud mouse in the background and I'd rather drown them out. If they weren't home, I wouldn't put the music on. So that is why I've been putting the music on my lives. Um, but we had so much fun on my live last Wednesday. Um, I think seem to think that people forget that I'm only on Wednesdays one week and then Tuesdays. Tuesday isn't a very good hit for me. I don't get very many people come out on Tuesday, but I do on Wednesday. And I think they just think I go on Wednesday, but I really don't. I go on both, but... It is what it is. Like, I can talk to you guys for hours on a live, but to put, film a whip and chat, they're usually around 40 minutes. Um, last time I did one, it was like an hour. I had lots to talk about, I guess. I was full of wind <laughs> to say. Um, I feel like I'm going cricket because these don't really, um, these diamonds are not, like, they're not popping, but they are, like, not all the same size, you know what I mean? So they tend to, like, the gapping. I don't like gapping. They remind me of Diamond Art Club's um, gems, or drills, sorry. They remind me of Diamond Art Club's drills. And, uh, yeah, that's what they remind me of. Um, I think Craftably's drills are a lot better than these ones, but these ones remind me of Diamond Art Club's drills and I'm not I'm like I'm happy that they're not popping that's a good thing and I know when I turn off the light pad you don't see the gapping but it kind of annoys me while I'm working because you know I can't work without the light pad and you see all these other creators that work without a light pad on and I'm telling you they must be younger than me or have perfect vision because I do not. I do not have perfect vision and I need a light pad. I don't have very much lighting in this house. Even when I had the big bay window in the living room when I used to work out in the living room before, I still need a light pad. Oh, when it's up. Yay. So, I'm going to cut it short. Whatever I talked about is... Sorry for that interruption. She opened up the door. And uh, I knew it was almost time for her to leave anyway. So, this is where I'm going to wrap up. And I will talk to you guys all next week. Hopefully, she finds a babysitter by next week. So, we don't have to go through this anymore. Until next time, take care, everyone. Bye. Well, folks, that's it for today's video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. And if you like, please subscribe to my channel. I be super tickle pink. And remember to hit that notification bell and it will remind you whenever I load up a video. And till next time, take care everyone. Bye. <laughs>